And the Lord says, here in New Jersey, you were stewards of revival. You were also stewards of the history of America. So the Lord would say to you, I am calling you to raise up an army. I am calling you to stand on your feet and pray. I am calling you to mobilize the army of the Lord to go forth, says the Lord. And the Lord says, it is not by chance that you live where you live. It is not by chance that I have positioned you at the wells of revival, that I have positioned you here even in New Jersey and with connections to the other tri-state areas, says the Lord. So the Lord says, wake up! Wake up! And the Lord says, use your influence to wake up as many as you can. I have brought you here today, and I have anointed you here because it is my will for Princeton to have a revival in Rutgers and Yale. The Lord says, the great awakening is upon us, but the church must wake up first. Amen. Do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe? Hallelujah. And the Lord says, Peter and, and, and uh, oh, Trisha, I have called you, send up, to be awakeners. And the Lord says, gather the pastors, gather the leaders, and tell them we must wake up. In fact, this is what I see you do, doing. I see you networking churches. I see you inviting them and say, let's come together and pray. And the Lord says, if you ask them, they will come. I will anoint you with favor. And the Lord says, it's not going to be just the charismatics. The Lord says, the evangelicals will come. I'm going to wake up many different churches. And God says, I'm going to mobilize. And the Lord says, New Jersey will be one of those states that is the most mobilized to pray and stand. Because... The Lord says, the enemy is at your gate. Ooh, it's a very sobering word. And the Lord says, there are terrorists in your midst that are making plans. But the Lord says, watch and see what I will do. And God says, even the intercessors from the, the tri-state area also must band together as a three-fold cord. But I'm anointing you too, says the Lord. I'm anointing you. I am calling you. I'm going to use you to bring them together, says the Lord. So, Father, we just thank you for this anointing to sound the alarm, to sound the alarm on my holy mountain. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. God reveals because he wants to warn. And so, you know, I think what is happening is that we are beginning to understand how much of our civilization we have lost, but we didn't know. We didn't know. Because most of the church is not on TikTok or things like this. But I was shocked, absolutely shocked. And so what these people say, and I haven't said any like this this whole week in this first place. I'm unpacking this like this. But I want to say, when you read young people and they say, just like America deserved what bin Laden did because we are colonialists, so Hamas deserved to do what they did to Israel. That's what they say. That's when they're saying from the river to the sea, that's what they mean. That the Israelis are colonialists and they should be wiped out and that Hamas has, has a right to do it. Is that sobering? Come on, sometimes we have to talk about things in church that are serious. You know, in the history of our nation, in our nation's history, 
we know that the pulpits of America thundered, thundered with warnings, thundered. And the Lord says, I want to put the thunder back in the pulpits of this nation. Amen. I, this is a little switch, but is Josiah here, the little girl? They went to get her. Okay, well, let me know. Can I just say this? The Lord yeah. spoke to me out of Samuel, and he said he's, he's loosing the blacksmiths back into the church mm -hmm. that train the, the leaders with their swords and spears. Yeah. 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 We have to beat our plowshares into spears. And, uh, uh, you know, now listen to me. When I was speaking to all these campus leaders, you know, by Zoom, and uh, we've done more than one, and there are van there's revival on campuses. Believe me, there's a move of God. But Satan wants to stop this move of God. You understand this? Satan wants, what is he trying to do? He's trying to stop the revivals that are at least 30 campuses. I mean, I know in Texas, Baylor University, Texas A&M are having wonderful. We're hearing about Princeton. We're hearing about all these other schools. We're hearing about great things happening. And we see historically that whenever there was great awakening, Satan always caused a war. There's something called the student volunteer movement uh, here in the United States around the 1900s. And... Uh, uh, 20,000 young people gave their lives to, for world missions. You know, they dedicated their lives for world missions. World War I came. They went to war. The 18, 19, 20-year-olds. And so, the, you know, uh, um, some of the, the college leaders were saying, well, we're concerned that our students will get afraid if we tell them what you're saying. I said, well, if you were 18 and you were in the IDF, you'd be going into those Hamas tunnels. You tell them they have to be strong. It's time that at least we can fight for the soul of this nation. At least we can stand up. 